Jason from MJM Credit Consultants back at it with another video. In this video, we're gonna be further discussing our four free steps and bettering your credit. Step number one is constantly checking your credit report. First thing we mentioned was check your credit scores. A lot of people accurately don't know their credit score. And if they do know their credit score, it's usually only from one bureau. Having access to all three credit bureaus that's Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Having access to those three credit bureaus is super important. If you have access to all three credit bureaus, then you can accurately tell what your score is, and you can also see what's all on your credit report. Once you get your credit score, the next best thing to do is get your credit report from all three of those bureaus we mentioned. Once you receive your credit report, you wanna make sure you understand what you're looking at. You wanna make sure you have everything on there that you've done. You wanna go through and find out that everything on that credit report does belong to you. Look and see through your credit report to make sure if you have any late payments, missed payments, any hard inquiries, or anything else on that credit report. And if none of these belong to you, you need to remove them immediately because these are negatively impacting your credit score. Third thing you need to do is dispute negative items. After you've marked all the negative things on your credit report, you need to get a letter ready to send to all three of the bureaus. That letter needs to include your full name, your current address, your birthday, last four of your social security number, and the address to the credit bureau you're sending it to. And once you do that, you need to mail in a documentation of yourself, any identification, for example, like a driver's license, you need to get a copy of it and send it into the bureau along with your letter. The credit bureaus have to get back to you within 30 days of you sending that letter. If the credit bureau did not take that, that inquiry off within those 30 days, you can send another letter and ask them for proof as to why they did not remove the negative inquiry. If they don't reply, you can send them another letter until they give you proof as to why they didn't remove the inquiry from your account. And even if they do give you proof, make sure you verify where it came from and ask them more information about that particular inquiry. And make sure you do this for every inquiry that you believe that doesn't belong to you to make sure it'll clean up your credit report a lot more. Step number four, enjoy the benefits of 700 plus credit score. Once you improve your credit score, it's very important to maintain it and get all the benefits of what you achieve from earning that high cr credit score. If you have current loans with high interest rates, look into refinancing those loans because once you have that higher credit score, you are eligible for getting the lower rates at whatever institution you're at. If you're looking to purchase a vehicle or maybe a home, you won't have to look into putting a bigger down payment because you're Credit is higher, which allows you to get a bigger loan amount. If you're looking to start a business, a high personal credit score is good for your business credit score because it'll give you a good boost because they see that you have good credit, so they'll give your business good credit. There's countless benefits of having a great credit score. One of the main benefits is just having a free financial future. And if you have a good credit score, you're eligible for a lot of things in this world. If you're interested in learning more about these credit videos, please like and subscribe, comment what you'd like to see about, and uh, we'll try to make another video.